Hey guys, it's Kelly. I am going to show you how I go through the process of hacking my G6. Um, because of the Firefly software, um, we actually need to take the device out for 20 minutes and put it back in to be able to hack it. Um, first, I save this little guy in the back of my phone case um, because I never lose my phone, so I likely never lose this. Second, you wanna have an alcohol swab just to be clean. And third, you want test strips. Um, doesn't matter which test strip you use. This is a, a freestyle test strip. And this has been said to be one of the most helpful things to getting the device out. So because I'm on video, I'm gonna hopefully go quickly. Um, sometimes it takes me like a minute and sometimes it takes me 10. Um, whoa, <laughs> it came right out. Zing, it's gonna be a great day. All right, so, um, in my uh, Dexcom software, it already needs a new sensor. So, um, because it expired when I woke up this morning and um, this all looks great. Sometimes I wipe it out with alcohol swab. Sometimes I don't, but you just want to pop it out. Again, mainly when you're doing it on your arm, you want to get on the sides and then you'll leave this out for 20 minutes, put it back in like it's a fresh new sensor and press start and you have a two hour warm up. I do find the second time I hack my G6, um, I, I haven't often done it three times. Um, I usually just do it twice, but um, I need to calibrate. So make sure you are testing your blood sugar once you put the transmitter back in just to ensure that things are lining up well and also be patient because even with a new fresh one there will be some margin um, from the start because the algorithm's predicting that there's going to be some inflammation there but there is no inflammation because it's not a new poke anywho good luck let me know if you have questions email me at kelly at kellyschmidtwellness.com take care